Now we review the 2023 film Late Night with Richard's Sister. Oh, oh, I remember that. Oh, I remember her, her husband screaming. Oh, she had such bad gas. Late Night with the Devil. Yeah. Richard's sister. She's the devil. Late Night with the Devil. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am Richard. I have just seen Late Night with the Devil. This was a film I had actually, I had seen the trailer. I was hyped for it, and I really wanted to see it. It is the story of a, a talk show host or a variety show host. He's kind of an early version of um, Jerry Springer, I guess you would say, where he brings these outlandish people on. I mean, it's a variety show, and he he's most of the time he's in on the trick, but you know that's that's what it is, and um, he has always struggled in ratings. He's trying to make a comeback. He's in a, a dark point in his life. He lost his wife recently, and he's just he's just trying, trying to woo the nation, and he does so on Halloween night. By having a show where he uh, interviews someone who is apparently possessed by a demon. All right, so that said, let me, of course, remind you for every thousand subscribers again, I do purchase one of these bracelets from 4 Ocean. 4 Ocean pulls a pound of trash out of the ocean every time I do that. I also um, purchase symbolic adoptions from the World Wildlife Fund. And, um, you know, here is my Mount Everest medal saying that I have uh, walked the distance of climbing Mount Everest and planted five trees. So supporting me, supporting this channel, supporting all of my endeavors is something you can do not only for me, but for you, for yourself, to make this world a better place. If I had millions of subscribers, I'd be doing a lot of good. I have still planted more than 100 trees. Anyway, so... Um, yes, Late Night with the Devil, you have a variety of people, there's the skeptics and there's the believers, there is the child who is your sort of Regan character if you watch The Exorcist, which I have not, you've got a uh, parapsychologist Parapsychology is kind of a, a loosely defined branch of psychology. I would define parapsychology as the study of the human perception of supernatural or unexplainable events. Other people may um, refer to it as the study of those events, but it's like this. If you are abducted by aliens, the person who should discuss this with you is a parapsychologist. Now, we don't know if aliens really abduct people, but we know that people believe they were abducted by aliens. So it is a discussion of the human perception and to find out the root base of that perception. This is the concept of parapsychology. Clearly, the parapsychologist in here is unreasonably biased, but... I mean, she also apparently is working with an individual client that sees uh, very strange things. So, yeah, I mean, if, if, I, if I actually knew someone who could levitate and was possessed by the devil, uh, I guess I would be a believer, too. I've just never met that person. That's not how I approach this particular type of science, but that's just me. And really... What you have here, there's a lot of spectacular and creepy events. The basis for this apparently being live gives it a little more of a tone of reality. The special effects in some scenes are not utterly great, but, you know, the worm sequence is, is pretty uh, impressive. And it, I, a lot of it looks practical. Some of it does appear to be CGI, but a lot of it looks practical. And it's just the breakdown of how it starts in one place and moves to another and how it becomes a very personal story for the host is very intriguing. And I have to say that, you know, Late Night with the Devil did not 
uh, bore me, okay? It was a solid film, and it gave me what I was looking for. It was what I expected. I am not going to say this is something that's going to go down in history as one of the greatest films ever made, but you know what? It belongs in the upper middle of your watch list, so if if you if you are going to the theater and you you just look around and say you know what film should i watch this is a film to watch you know it is and to further that point let me let me point out that it started at a film fest i think it started at north by northwest which is why it's technically a 2023 release and it did get awards so it has gone to a prestigious prestigious festival past the bar and despite being a relatively, what looks to be a relatively low-budget film, has entertained. So yes, upper middle of your watch list, very much a solid film. I recommend it. That's just my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. I, of course, am Richard. Halt! You have entered the jurisdiction of Sergeant Duck! And Sergeant Duck says it is your duty to comment, like, and subscribe. That way you will support this channel for more awesome content. This channel will then pull one pound of trash out of the ocean for every thousand subscribers, help plant trees every year, and do all kinds of good things for you. You deserve it. So, comment, like, and subscribe. Better world for you. Better world for me. And I won't issue you a ticket.